Today, we'll dig into a rematch of last season's Eastern Conference Finals between the Boston Celtics and Indiana Pacers, and we found a money-making spot on a total in this game. I'm Steve Seagrave, and I'm the number one NBA handicapper at SportsMemo.com so far this season. If you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and post your NBA picks in the comments section. I'll be checking those comments and getting back to you guys. So we had another great day yesterday in the NBA. Uh, we cashed our video play. Anthony Edwards over 26.5 points. He almost gets there in the first quarter alone with 24. He finishes with 37. Also cashed our lone client play a 5 per center. De'Aaron Fox over 5.5 assists. He gets 6. However, he basically had it wrapped up in the first half. He went the entire second half without an assist. But we'll take it one way or the other. And we actually found another 5% spot for tonight. Very rare to have two 5% plays, especially in the same sport, on back-to-back -back nights. Uh, but I found a spot I couldn't deny, so that play is available on my page right now. But we're here for Boston, oh, we're here for Boston at Indiana, uh, 7 p.m. Eastern tip-off on ESPN. Celtics currently minus 6.5 point road. Favorites total sits high at 235. No surprise when these two teams meet up. And uh, the Celtics swept them in the Eastern Conference Finals. They won the regular season series last year. 3-2, to two, they played an extra game because uh, of the tournament. And uh, Celtics have come out like gangbusters so far this year. 4-0 on the year. Three double-digit victories. Plus 14.9 net rating. Coming off a 119-108 uh, beatdown of the Milwaukee Bucks on Monday. Jalen Brown led the way with 30 points. And this team is going to live and die by the three-pointer. 17-plus threes made per game on the year uh, so far this year. Uh, Pacers have not been quite as fortunate. One and three on the season. They rank 22nd in defense, 23rd in offense. They lost their third straight game on Monday night, 119-115 in Orlando. Pascal Siakam uh, led his team with 26. Halliburton did put up a 19.10 dime triple uh, double double I'm sorry but Paolo Bencaro dumped 50 on their heads and the Pacers have really struggled to shut down opposing sides number one players so far this year the theme between these two teams has just been high scoring they've uh, cashed the over in five of their last six head-to-head -head games last season in those five regular season games they averaged 245 0.8 combined points. Celtics have been a big part of that. They scored 125 plus in each of their last 10 games against Indiana uh, while shooting 50% in the process. And uh, Celtics, they have put up 120 plus now in every game so far this season, except the Milwaukee game where they fell just short of that with 119. So that's where we're going to be going here. Celtics team total over 119 and a half. Over at minus uh, 130 over at, it's minus 130 a little juicy over at DK uh, you can get the 120 and a half for less juice obviously but I just feel like we just count on them to score 120 they've done it every time out except falling just short against Milwaukee Pacers are lying 117 plus per game and they have not faced a team like the Celtics so I expect the Celtics to hit one extra three-pointer uh, to cash this team total over. That'll be our official play for the video. Just to let you guys know, tomorrow is the last day, last call on NBA season passes for $499. Takes you right through the NBA Finals. That's uh, $246 off the normal price. It's less than $3 a day. And like I said, we're number one so far in the NBA this season. We're up 25 0.7 units. We've already cashed a future play. We had uh, Wemby's. We needed to have a 20 plus rebound game for Wembenyama, and he already did that last time out. It was plus 140, so we've already cashed a 3% future play, and we had tons of future plays that we had put in prior to the season. We've pulled a profit now in seven of the first eight days of the year, so I'm really hoping to keep that train rolling. We carried that momentum from last season where we finished number one in the postseason. With, uh, we pulled in 34 units there. 
So go check out my page at sportsmemo.com. As always, there is a link in the pinned comment. If you guys enjoy this content, hit the like button on the way out. And I always have free plays posted at X at Steve's Book 22, as well as at sportsmemo.com. Let's cash this ticket. Boston Celtics team total over 119.5. Good luck tonight, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow.